guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to The Bookworms, a buddy. I have a tag for you today. Um, and this tag is in honor of our upcoming holiday, Thanksgiving. This was originally created by Fangirl City, and I was tagged by Sarah Ella. And I'll link to both of these channels, or both these videos, in the description box below. So, there are ten questions, and this is like um, a specific food and how it's associated with a question about books. So here we go. Number one, bread. What book is purely fluff and has no real plot line? Um, I can't really say that there wasn't a plot line, but it was just not an interesting plot line to me, and that was House of Leaves. I loved the cover. I loved the uniqueness of of the story because there it was written so differently but I just did not it was an exhausting exhausting read number two turkey what book made you want to fall asleep and I'm going again say house of house of leaves just because it was so exhausting there are parts where I felt like I was in school <clears throat> and there was just parts that I just I didn't understand why it was in there um, like I said, I like the uniqueness of the book, so I decided to give it a shot, and yeah. A lot of people liked that book, I just didn't get it. Number three, Gravy. What book makes the whole series worth reading? And I am going to say The Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa. This is the, the last book in the Iron Fae series, and it was brilliant. The whole series was was great. The world building was great, but this one really wrapped it up well, really came together well, and it is definitely a series that I would read again. So yes, The Iron Knight. Okay, then we've got number four, Stuffing. What book is, is stuffed full of action scenes? And that's going to be the Joe Ledger series by Jonathan Mayberry. Mayberry. And um, this is a lot of action, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of characters to love and characters to hate, and yeah, I still need to read, I believe, book seven, which is Predator One that came out earlier this year. I still need to get that one, but I'm really enjoying this series a lot. Next one is number five, Mashed Potatoes. What book looked good and then wasn't? And a lot of people are probably going to hate me saying this, but it is the truth, and that is The Night Circus. Um, I loved the cover of this book, and this is what attracted me to it. And I was stoked to read it, because so many people were talking about, oh, this is so fantastic. And then I read the synopsis, and I'm like, wow, this sounds great. So reading the synopsis, I felt like there's going to be this big war, this big battle between two people in this in this book. And it just wasn't like that at all. It yeah, I I the writing was good. I enjoyed the writing and I think the writing is very poetic and all of that good stuff, but it just it was it was disappointing to me. I just felt like I was I was misled from the synopsis. So yeah. Number six, Cranberries. What book has the sweetest romance? And I'm going to say the Outlander series. I don't know about sweetest, but it is pure devotion, sacrifice, and it's really true love. Well, you would do, you'd walk across fire for this person, and that is what Jamie and Claire's relationship is like. And that's how I feel like any relationship would be. You should want to do whatever it takes you know, to make your significant other happy, and yeah, they're, they're my one true pairing from now on, unless, you know, something else comes along, but this romance is written so beautifully, and it's just, it tears at you. Um, it is so, so good, and you just want to, you want the best for the two of them. So yeah, Jamie and Claire at Outlander. Number seven, corn. What's the corniest book you've ever read? I think it's a little corny, but I really did enjoy it. It's, a, it's corny in a good way, and I'm going to say the Lux series. Um, 
because it kind of glamorizes aliens. I, I use that word a lot like when I talk about vampires and stuff, and I think this kind of glamorizes the aliens. Um, the further you do go in the series, the more serious it does get. So, um, it's still really enjoyable to me. Like I said, it's a good corny. So, yeah, the Lux series. Uh, number eight, Green Beans. What book is too long and needs to be shortened? And this is one that I just finished this month, and that is The Drums of Autumn. This is book number four in the Outlander series, and it's a huge book. Like I said before, they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and there are parts of this book that really didn't have to be in there, I, I guess. The beginning, I mean, it took a while for this one to pick up. But, of course, it was worth it in the end. I enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah. Drums of Autumn. Number nine. Pumpkin Pie. What book do you read to get out of a reading slump? I don't get in very many reading slumps because I generally just, I read what I like to read. And if I'm not enjoying it, I put the book down, which helps to avoid reading slumps because I don't feel like you should read a book if it's, if it's not enjoyable, why waste the time on a book you're not enjoying when there's so many more that you could be reading? But if I I do, if I get a little in, if I like reading right now, you know, I'll, I generally don't. And I don't think it's a slump, but I'll read a shorter book. If I read a shorter book, you know, especially after reading a book like this, you want something that's light and easy to read. And it, it keeps you from getting to a slump. Um, so yeah, if, if I'm in a slump, then it'll be like a shorter book. And number 10, Dog Cat, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food that you would steal from the table? Um, well, I make a dessert called Cherry Delight, and I would probably steal that all for myself because it is so yummy, and it doesn't last very long. But it's made in a great big dish, too, so everybody loves it. And if I could steal that away, I would. And that is the bookish Thanksgiving tag. Sarah, thank you so much for tagging me. It was a really, really fun tag to do. Please go visit Van Fangirl City and Sarah Ella. Like I said, they'll be linked in the description box. Um, and that's it, guys. Anyway, thanks, guys, for staying tuned. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.